Shoji didn't personally know you. All he knew about you is that you spent your time behind a sewing machine as you patched up the hero's course's costumes or the occasional school uniform. You had been the one to personally hem or redo uniforms to ensure everyone felt comfortable in them. Which is the reason why he is visiting the support classroom where you spent your time. With a curt knock, Shoji waited for a response. A voice from the other side of the door announced he could enter the classroom. Opening the door, Shoji took in a deep breath and took note of how the room smelt like a fabric store and hints of oil. The fabric smelled due to how the far wall contained rolls after rolls of different types of fabric and each table contained a different type of sewing machine. Opening the door wider, Shoji saw you sitting in the far corner, what appeared to be sewing a school uniform by hand. Traveler, Shoji greeted as he entered the room closing the door behind himself. He saw you lift your head towards his direction and gave him a curt nod. I hope I am not bothering you. No response. Nothing out of the norm for Shoji when it came to you. His brows furrowed when he took note how you seemed to start glaring at him before you returned to sewing. What did he do? He looked down at his feet, thinking perhaps he dragged something in. No. Did he smell? No. Shoji froze momentarily. He consciously raised a hand towards his face and felt something off with his mask. One of his arms shifted to turn into an eye and saw that his mask had a massive cut, but it was not enough to show his face entirely. How did he miss this? Great. That meant he's going to need his mask to be sewn back together, or at least hope he doesn't find anyone along the way back to the dorms before he got caught, which seemed highly unlikely. This was one of his last decent masks he had too. Mend? Do you need me to mend that too? You pointed at Shoji's face. Your own brows furrowed as you wondered if you were going to need to use your quirk to fix the mask to oppose just using a needle and thread. Maybe you'll get to see what's underneath the mask. At that thought, you quickly turned around in your seat to hide your blushing face. In the random visits Shoji had done, you had come to looking forward to seeing him, enjoying the presence of the would-be hero more so than they could verbally say. Would you ever say such a thing? No, you hardly knew each other as it was, plus, you were just some random nameless nobody that seemed to have a massive target on your back. Reason? A uh, misunderstanding. Massive misunderstandings, time after time again. Cranky, they say. Angry, they say. Aggressive- okay. You were aggressive, but to a point. Everything to a point. Could you fix my mask? You didn't turn around. You lifted a hand and wiggled your fingers. In an instant, the fibers of the mask unraveled and went directly towards your fingers. You began to control the strings to reconnect the cloth back into place to how it was originally. Shoji looked at his mask and hummed in approval. It was as if it was never damaged in the first place. He looked over to see that you were looking at him from the corner of your eyes and in the first time in the entire time he's known you, he's never seen that expression before. Your face was coated in a light dusty pink, eyes looking at him innocently, and a shy smile that seemed to take Shoji's breath away. This had nothing on those supposed rumors that were floating around about you. You have nice... Uh, you pointed at Shoji. You weren't able to figure out what to say as your nerves began to overtake you. Arms! If you'll excuse me, I'm just going to throw myself out the window now. <laughs>